Doctor, we had to remove your colon. Me, why? Oh. There's been a lot of scares in the news media, so I thought we'd have a little time to relax with Medical Memes, episode 11. This is the weirdest karaoke place I've ever seen. <laughs> Oh my God. For those of you who don't know, this is a colonoscopy. Oh my God. Why is the patient's body see-through? Hello doctor, my wife has just gone into labor. Is this her first child? No, this is her husband. <laughs> that was good. Me, wax elbow against hard object. My entire nervous system. Oh man, that hurts. Oof, oof. I've been using this as a water bottle for about a month now. I kind of love the judging eyes against me at the gym. That's really funny. Just make sure if you're reusing a plastic water bottle or a Hershey's bottle, you wash it out very well each time. And even then I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know, just get a BPA free plastic reusable bottle. I know it's funny, but don't do it once. Do it, do it once and then don't do it. Relax, David, it's just a small surgery. Don't panic. My name is not David. Who? I know I am David. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's like the worst thing you want to hear in an operating room, God forbid you're hearing. But if you hear it is oops. Your eyes radiate like the sun. Jonathan, I need medical help. <laughs> what? I don't get it. Is it a jaundice joke? <laughs> he wanted to support her, ended up with basic life support. Oh, that happens really often. When I was delivering babies at, during residency, I would make eye contact with the father and check in from time to time just to make sure they're not passing out. Cause there's a condition called vasovagal. All of a sudden your blood pressure drops because you get really nervous and you go Whoop. And we don't want to have a second patient in the room. So we try and get them a seat, have them catch their breath, relax. Dr. Mike, after a patient tells them to eat apples. Good, apple is a great fruit. It's very good. This is actually really cute. You know, cause if you eat a doctor a day, did I just say if you eat a doctor a day? <laughs> you eat an apple a day that keeps the doctor away. Doctor, do you smoke? Dad, yeah. Doctor, cigarettes, marijuana, dad, mostly brisket and pork. Dad jokes in the hospital. I have patients like this. And while most of the time it's funny and I get a good laugh, sometimes it's stressful. You're like, oh my God, that was joke number eight and I've entered the wrong thing into this electronic health record. It's really stressful. <laughs> when your anti-vax mom installs antivirus on your tablet, but not on you. <laughs> Aw, that's so sad. Who puts antivirus on their tablets? As seen on Facebook, what a concept. I'm not anti-vax, but I understand why some parents do not want those chemicals in their children's bodies. I think instead of chemical shots, the doctor should give a small piece of the virus so the body can build natural immunity. That's what vaccines are. You literally define what a vaccine is. Coronavirus exists. Me, realizing my shirt was made in China. Oh, come on. All right, this is not turning into a coronavirus meme review. I'm cutting it off right now. That was the last coronavirus meme. One of my favorite games to play is, is my headache from dehydration, caffeine withdrawal, lack of proper nutrition, my ponytail, stress, lack of sleep, not wearing my glasses or brain tumor. Honestly, that is what doctors do every single day when a patient comes in and says they have a headache. We have to ask really good questions to sort of narrow down our diagnosis, then do a physical exam, narrow down our diagnosis further, pick which ones are most life-threatening and need to be ruled out imminently, rule those out, and then go down that list which ones are more pro most probable by either doing blood tests or imaging tests if needed, or sometimes just giving reassurance to our patients that if they drink more water, they'll be okay. Not giving shots to babies, anti-vax moms, responsible bartenders. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Get it? Because. Bartenders will ID and the baby doesn't have enough years of life to get alcohol. Body, raises temperature to fight illnesses. Human, takes medicine to reduce body temperature. Body, it's so true though. The purpose of a fever is to fight off the infection. The infection cannot adequately survive in high temperatures, that's why you get a fever. Also, the inflammatory cells of your body that actually fight off the infection perform better at higher temperatures. Unless you're feeling absolutely horribly, a lot of times there's no reason to take medicines for your fever. Like the fever is a good thing. That's how we survive and thrive. You jive?
Millennials, quit whining. I paid off 150,000 in student loans and own a $400,000 home because I save. It's not that hard. I make coffee at home, bus instead of Uber, shop sales, had parents pay off my loans and buy me a house because I'm daddy's special boy and got Hulu with ads. <laughs> You know what's funny? I don't think it's millennials that are whining. I think it's Gen Z, and I think millennials are taking the rap for it. But look, if you work hard, you dedicate yourself to a field that has value, and you're passionate about it, and you're good at it, you're gonna be financially well off in one way or another. But just make sure that it's something you're good at, that it actually can make money, because like, look, I love drinking water, but I know it's not gonna make money, so I don't make this my career. Whoops. No. Sir, I'm afraid your DNA is backwards. A-N-D? <laughs> this has depth. He said, and? But he also said, A-N-D? <laughs> Netflix, official trailer, energy healing, psychic medium, psychedelics, P-Whoop intensifies. Don't be surprised if you're gonna see me do a review very, very soon of Goop. I'm just kind of waiting to see if like, it truly becomes super popular and then step in because I don't want to lend it any more popularity than it already has. I've already seen some snippets on the promos. P Whoop is coming for you, Goop. Dr. Mike uploading a video, me at 000, about to turn off my phone to sleep. Please sleep. I want you to watch my content, but watch it when you wake up in the morning with fresh eyes so you have enough sleep. When you get less than six hours of sleep, like five hours, the amount of natural killer cells drops, and that's your immune system right there. Keeps you healthy, and not just from viruses and bacteria and stuff, from cancers. Get enough sleep, but watch my videos when you wake up. <laughs> Patient, I'm not excited about getting shots. Me, how would you feel about warts on your penis? <laughs> Patient, I'll take the shots. Me, cool. Pro tip, never had a boy decline HPV vaccination when offered that alternative. See, that's 100% true. HPV shot vaccine does prevent warts. It also prevents cancer, cancer. And for those of you who don't know, HPV stands for human papillomavirus. A few subtypes of that virus actually lead to development of cervical cancer in women. That's why we started giving the vaccine. But then we also saw the benefit of giving it to boys because boys transmit the virus to girls, as well as preventing the virus from affecting the boys. Think about that win, 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 win situation. Who submitted this plan? Are you trying to get my blood pressure elevated and have hypertension, essentially hypertension? Don't do it. Put this plant away. Me watching my neighbor attempting to cure their asthma with essential oils. <laughs> if you're having an asthma attack, use your inhaler or a nebulizer if you have one. Nebulizer kind of sounds like a Star Wars gadget, but it's really not. The baby Yoda is so cute. Oh, look at this pee whoop. Yo, this is the ugliest cartoon of me I've ever seen, but I love it. I love it. I would get this tattooed on me. Why do I like it so much? The left eye going one way and the right eye being bigger in another way and then my tongue out. I never stick my tongue out. Bear looks adorable. I love it. As a doctor, I never make a joke about an un unvaccinated baby, but let me give it a shot. Dermatologists at a soccer match. <laughs> They're hiding away from the sun. By the way, if you didn't know, the best way to protect yourself from the sun isn't sunblock. It's staying out of the sun. Shade, covering yourself with clothing, and then sunblock. You dig? This is Bear's Bone. <laughs> Me, WTF, put it back. It's not Bear's Bone, it's Bear's Bone. I know it sounds the same. If people have been scaring you about the coronavirus lately, check out my video covering the subject right here with the main topic being alert, not anxious.